action. Well, what'll it be? I'll stick with bourbon, I guess. So, you're in the math department. No, uh, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, Martha said you were. At least I think she said. So, what made you decide to be a teacher? Um, well, the same things that motivated you, I imagine. <clears throat> what were they? Pardon? I said, what were they? What were the things that motivated me? Well, I'm sure I don't know. <laughs> you just finished saying that the things that motivated me were the same things that motivated you. I said, I imagine they were. <laughs> oh. Well, did you? You like it here? Uh, yeah, it's uh, I fine. I met the university. Oh, <laughs> I thought you meant... Yeah, I can see that you did. I meant the university. Well, uh, I like it. Fine. <laughs> Just fine. You, you've uh, been here for quite a long time, haven't you? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ever since I married, um... What's her name? Uh, Martha. Before that, even. Forever. Dashed hopes and good intentions. Good, better, best. Best day. How do you like that for a declension, young man? Uh, sir, I'm sorry. You didn't answer my question. Sir? Don't condescend me. I asked you how you liked my declension. Good, better, best, best it, huh? Well, I really don't know what to say. You really don't know what to say. All right, what do you want me to say? Do you want me to say that it was funny so you can condescend me and say it's sad? Or do you want me to say it's sad so you can turn around and say, no, it's funny. You can play this damn game any way you want to, you know? Very good. Very good. I think when my wife comes back that I'll just, uh, you know, I don't just know. Just calm down, calm down, man. Just, man, just calm down, okay? You want another drink? Give me a glass. I still have one, but I yeah, I'll freshen it. Stay there. What I mean is you two, you and your wife, seem to be having some sort of something. Oh, going. Martha and I are having... Merely exercising. We're walking what's left of our wits. Pay no attention to it. Still, it seems a little odd. It's just, I don't like to get involved in uh, other people's things. You'll get over that. Small college and all. Musical beds is the faculty sport around here. Sir? I said musical. I, you know, I wish you wouldn't keep saying sir like that. How old are you? 28. I'm 40 something. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you surprised? Don't I look older? I think you look fine. I've always been lean. I use the handball courts. How much do you weigh? I, uh, 155, 160, something like that. Do you play handball? Uh, not very well. Then we shall play sometime. And Martha is 108 years old. She actually weighs considerably more than that. How old is your wife? She's 26. Martha is a remarkable woman. I expect she weighs around 110. Your wife? Ways. No, your wife. No, yours. My wife is Martha. Yes, I know. If you were married to Martha, you'd know what that means. But then, I suppose if I was married to your wife, I'd know what that means too, wouldn't I? Yes. So, you're in the math department. 
No, I'm not. Well, Martha said you were, and Martha's seldom mistaken. Perhaps you should be in the math department or something. I'm a biologist. I'm in the biology department. Oh! You're the one. You're the one who's causing all the trouble, rearranging our chromosomes or whatever, making us all the same. Isn't that right? Not exactly. Chromosomes. I'm very mistrustful. Do you believe that we learn nothing from history? I'm in the history department. Yes, I know. Martha often reminds me that I am in the history department as opposed to being the history department in the sense of running the history department. I do not run the history department. Well, I do not run the biology department. You're 21. 28. 28. Well, maybe when you're 40 something, you'll run the history department. Biology. I'm really very mistrustful. I read somewhere that science fiction isn't fiction at all, but that you people are going to rearrange my genes so that everyone is the same as everyone else. Oh. Well, I suspect we will not have much painting or music, but we will have a race of very sublime young men, very much like yourself. Race, culture will disappear. You don't know much about science, do you? I know something about history. I know when I'm being threatened. You weren't having any hips, Ashley. <laughs> what? I'm not to suggest that I'm hip happy. I was just implying that your wife is slim. <laughs> yes, she is. <clears throat> do you have any kids? No, not yet. You? It's for me to know and you to find out. Indeed. No kids, huh? What's the problem? Um, uh, nothing. We just would like to wait. <laughs> A little, until we're settled. And you think you'll be happy here in New Carthage? I uh, hope we uh, stay here. I don't mean forever. Oh, don't let that get bandied about. The old man would like it. Martha's father expects his staff to come here, grow old, and fall in the line of service. What now? Professor of Latin and elocution <laughs> actually fell in the cafeteria line one lunch. <sighs> the old man's not going to go anywhere. The old man's not going to die. There are rumors that he must not breathe a word. So far, Martha, she positively owns that lie that the old man, her father, is over two. somewhere, but I don't think I'm drunk enough to figure out what it is. Martha! Damn it. I wonder what women talk about when the men aren't around. I really must find out sometime. Martha! 